about this fact. My very, very close, very good friend, Representative Shane Scholar, our next Secretary of State. <laughs> I just came from the guy who, uh, he, he's down the ballot, but he's running just as hard as everyone else, our next treasurer, Cole McNair. Uh, from right here in St. Louis County, uh, the woman who is going to be our, our next congresswoman, she's going to be a fantastic leader. She's been a great leader in the past for our party. She served our country. She's come back home and, and has served so diligently hard from the grassroots level uh, up through the party. Our next congresswoman, who I also just saw recently earlier today, many of you know Ann Wagner. <laughs> so whether it's, whether it's those statewide names that we're all working, that all of us are working for, whether it's your, your local state senators and state representatives, who many of you in this room are working for, we have some, we have some tough races in the House. Let's not forget about my... Uh, my, uh, my, my brethren and my sisters down, down the ballot a bit. Uh, every single race is important because of how close we are to, to just riding that massive wave, that common sense wave, uh, that common sense show me Missouri wave that we saw in 2010. I have seen that tide not be, be quelled at all. It has continued hard into 2012. Missouri is going to vote for President Mitt Romney and everyone else. <laughs> some of the most important pivotal races. You know, we've, we've, we've done a really excellent job on the, the state senate and state representative level, increasing those majorities to a veto-proof majority or state senate, and just a couple hairs away of having one in the state house. But we, uh, we, we've been working hard on rebuilding our party on the statewide level, and what a slate of candidates we've come up this year to help, to help take back that statewide leadership. That's the one piece we've been lacking in our state. It, it's so hard for leaders like myself and Senator Tom Dempsey and some of the others in the Senate to push our agenda through when we don't know what Governor Nixon or Attorney General Coster or anybody else who's got a D after the name are going to do with that agenda. Uh, it, it, it's, it's absentee leadership. And Missourians deserve so much better. And two of the people that are going to help restore honesty, integrity, under the rule of law to our state are here today Shane Scholler and Ed Martin. I'm also one of a rare breed. I'm one of those Republican attorneys, so they're making me introduce the other attorney, right? The two of us clap. That's right. the only two. But uh, Ed, Ed, Ed's been a great friend. Uh, for, for many years. I, I knew him since uh, before we were household names in the Post-Dispatch. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, our, our great paper, um, he, uh, he was one of the neighbors and close friends of one of my close friends uh, from high school, uh, where I went down to uh, St. Louis U High. And he, he moved right next door to my, my best friend, the Richards family, down there in uh, good old South St. Louis. And uh, one day they said, you know this, this guy, Ed, he's kind of a big, loud guy, full of a lot of energy. And I said, I know, I know Ed well. Ed and I, uh, back in the early days, were working for other candidates and making our way up through the ranks. And ever since then, uh, we have been very close uh, brothers in arms in, in so many struggles and so many fights through the good times and bad. And uh, Ed and I talked a lot before he made his decision. And it was, uh, I, I believe, the best decision, not, not just that he could have made personally, because that's always worried about, about anything but himself. It's, it was the best decision for our state, because we now, like I said, need leadership at those highest levels. Ed is going to restore integrity and honesty and hard work back to the Attorney General's office. He's going to make sure that he is an Attorney General that is going to represent Missourians, because that representation has been lacking. And Ed is going to bring back that leadership to that office, which is in desperate need of it. So, I bring you one of our finest public servants, a man who's going to restore our community.